Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Out Tues. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect Facebook Metapixel to Wix website. Before we start, hurry up and check all the useful features under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you connect your Facebook Metapixel here on your Wix website? Well, the first thing you want to do here is you want to access your Wix website here. And from here, you want to go to the left panel and you want to go to the marketing section here. In this case, you want to choose Facebook and Instagram ads. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we first need to set up our audience here or our account. In this case, you want to click on get started here and basically log in into your account. So this is going to be like, for example, if you want to uh, basically showcase or add ads or show uh, basically uh, put ads on Facebook here to promote your Wix website. So if you want to use that, you can just basically uh, set up your account in here. But if you just want to connect your pixels here, well, in this case, what we need to do is we need to exit this one and you want to go to your settings at the bottom left. So you want to go to settings and you want to scroll down over here. You want to look for marketing integrations. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, and here what we need to do is we need to look for Metapixel and CAPI, which in this case, you just need to click on connect. Now, it's going to give you some steps here that you need to do for you to basically uh, set up your Metapixel or connect your Wix to your Metapixel here. So first is you need to have an upgrade plan here for on your Wix website in order for you to use this feature because in this case, this is a premium feature that Wix has to offer. So first, just click on upgrade here and just follow the on-screen steps for you to upgrade your plan if you haven't upgraded your plan. But if you already upgraded your plan, the next thing you wanna do here is you just need to follow the on-screen steps that you see here. So first is you need to connect the Facebook Pixel and see API, which in this case, just click on connect to Facebook here and just basically log in into your account and connect your Facebook Pixel. So just follow the on-screen steps and you should be good. Next is you want to verify your domain on Facebook here, which is something really recommended here. So you just need to follow the Wix instructions here. So you just need to open this in a new tab here. And as you can see, there are going to be some steps you need to follow here. Like for example, confirming your site domain on Facebook, adding your Facebook meta tag to your site, and basically returning to the Facebook complete, uh, complete verification, which in this case, you need to do a uh, verification. So in this case, finally, you just need to choose the event to track and add them to your site, which in this case, you need to follow the Facebook instructions here. So now once you've actually opened this up in a new tab, you could go ahead and just read about it and just basically follow the on-screen steps that you see here. Like for example, if you want to aggregate event measurements for website events, app events, you can go ahead and do that here. And also once you've done that, you now need to follow the Wix instructions here. So in this case, just open it up in a new tab here, and you could go ahead and basically uh, uh, follow these steps here that you see. Like for example, what is trackable within the Wix website here, or in this case, the what is trackable within your website in Wix uh, by Facebook. So in this case, that includes like stores, bookings, events, pricing plans, forms, login, and chat. Page views are being tracked, but for certain apps or for, for certain uh, services, like for example, for forms, a view content is not being tracked. And also that includes uh, like for site initiate checkout, leads, uh, sorry, not leads, uh, ad payment info. So those details are not being uh, tracked by form. So, but if you have like stores and bookings, I know how you don't have, you won't have any problems with that. They will be able to start uh, uh, basically uh, track them. But again, you can view this chart here to basically see what can be tracked. But yeah, so in this case, this one is pretty simple. It's more on just following these steps that you see here on the Metapixel uh, section or the marketing integration part here on Wix. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.